Welcome to the video folks. So back at Apple Tree House and me, my brother and my son are doing a patio in the back garden. I thought this would be a piece of cake. My dad warned me and said, it's not that easy. Uh, I think he was right, but we'll take you through it and we'll show you what we've done now. It's quarter past 11. So there's Liam, AKA Tyson Fury. There's Charlie, why was you late, Charlie? Um, I got hit by a bus. He's having his... He's having his hair cut, but they had, to, they had to cut it short. I mean, the actual session. It's so, you two. you're both bold. We're both, we're both bold, Mitchell Brothers. Who's Grant? <laughs> so, as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, six slabs we have laid. So, you know, we are bricklayers. So, and we started really in the tricky end. So, we started round the air source heat pump end. One, because we wanted to use that as a level. So I'm a little bit higher than the, than the slab of the, of the heat, air source heat pump so I can shingle across it and I haven't got to look at an ugly bit of concrete. So I just shingle around it and there's drainage underneath it because they kick out quite a bit of storm water. So we're heading down that way towards my retaining wall, which was featured in the last video. And then I've set it down the alleyway so I can have at least a slab where that drainage is. So we're going to try and fill in a few of these cuts now and get the tricky bit out of the way so now we've squared off the house and then we've got a straight run down there so we're going to get these fiddly bits out of the way and then um, we're on the home straight so see how the rest of this goes and we'll see what it looks like i welcome your critique <laughs> Patio update, 20 to two, this is what we've done. And it ain't the best. I mean, they're rocking, we're taking them out, we're putting them in. I don't know how to get the level of the base right, to be perfectly honest, need to Google it. Can't get a reception here. Um, and then we've got a line on the back of the house because I want to keep a 50 mil sort of shingle margin all the way down the back but then that's throwing my slabs out. You can see the line here, you know, it's not the truest. The slabs aren't the truest, and they're, they're not the, the most expensive, but um, this line through here as well, you can see sort of two slabs in, then it kicks over. Although to be fair, that slab is uh, not the squarest. You can see that from here now looking at it, but I need some help on how to get the, the base bit level lads. Please comment below because this is really quite difficult. I thought we was on the home straight, straight now. I thought once we'd done all the cuts around the air source heat pump slab, that it would just be a case of coming through, laying the, the base, popping the slabs on. But no, no, absolutely horrendous. I mean, first patio I've ever laid. So yeah, you know, need to um, take that into account, but pff, don't know, we're gonna use up the mix we've got and then uh, I'll speak to my ground worker mate um, because he's the expert but he wasn't available so I'll speak to him and see if he can come and uh, give me a hand as well so but it, it'll be alright it'll get there in the end the slabs are solid they're not rocking anywhere but we have to take them out put them back in take them out put them back in how's the patio going well where do you want me to start I don't know if he picked up it's like Fred West's patio that's all I can say really well, it's, it's, actually it's lucky we're not on price well, yeah, it's a three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, twenty slabs. There's three of us. Twenty slabs. <laughs> twenty. Twenty slabs. But we probably, yeah, as as our as our subby say, uh, it's probably it's it's probably extra for the cuts in it. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six cuts in there. So Charlie's going to record. We'll show you what we're doing, and then you can comment below and tell me what the how I'm doing wrong. So Charlie, record. We'll get this in. I'll show you how we're doing it. About where they looked at his house once years ago oh. in Gloucester. You should have nothing bad, This is Fred and Rose West, wouldn't it? It's only down the road, isn't it? 
Right, so this is what we're doing. So we basically put this on, and then we get a bit of a, you know, we get a level going on. So, uh, what's in the mix, Dad? Sharp, you, you did it. Sharp sand. Sharp sand and cement. And diesel. Sharp sand. And some diesel, yeah. Sharp sand, um, <laughs> just sharp sand and cement, really. Not a big fan of dot and dab. So, dot and dab. Um, so, it's just on solid base then. Although some of these are still rocking, so I'm not quite sure how that works. So what's the thinking behind what you're doing here then? Just trying to get it relatively level so we can then put the it out, yeah. so we can put the slab straight on and not, not too much messing around. Would so, you say this has been the hardest part? Yeah, this has just been absolutely horrendous. Preparation. Yeah, but specifically trying to get them level is the hardest part. Well yeah, trying to get this bed level. So I know they use like a batter on the side of it. What have your levels and what have you. So so I don't know really, I don't know, I literally thought we would have had the majority of this patio done today. Mm. And we, alright, oh, we have done the trickiest bit. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I don't know, I couldn't be a landscape gardener, I'll, get, I'll be bankrupt. So when I got here, I think you had three slabs down. <laughs> and that was at about 10 yeah, o'clock. Why weren't you here on time? I had an um, appointment. I'd see a man about a dog. So, yeah, that looks, that looks pretty good. <coughs> it looks pretty good. And then, you can already see that slab there that Liam's walking on, he's rocking. Yeah. Side. Why? Bang them in there. You can. Do we do it this side? No, so I just don't want to. There you go. See? Low. Slow, yeah, the back. And we've got no puck down there. So now we've got to take this one off now. Can we do it? See, it looks level before you put it on there, and then it's, it's not. not a lot. It's not a million miles out, but obviously, you see the lads on site, they're not taking slabs up and down all day, they get paid later <laughs> once. You know, that looks pretty good. See, if you notice where it's hollow, that's when you get the rock in. Look, did you see how much went in there? Yeah. I think that's the problem. Cheers. See, I bet you that's still... So how long did that take us? Looking too long. Yeah. About 20 minutes? That's the trouble. Nah, it worked that long. 10 minutes, maybe. 
Five minutes. I think you need a bit over here, to like this right there. Right, so that's a wrap. I'll show you the patio now. We load three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one. We won't lay twenty-one slabs, and it's half two. And um, we've only stopped for like five, ten minutes, but it looks all right. Um, we think we've got a little system going out. I YouTube it later, see what I'm doing wrong. They're not the best slabs, as I said previously. Actually, said in the literature, not suitable for patios. Only good for like shed bases and greenhouse bases and whatever. But um, they're quite expensive and I've got a lot of slabbing to do. So uh, anyway, here it is. So there we have it. So I've gone 1800 or three slabs, which makes 1800. I want a 50 mil margin just off of my house, which I will shingle. We had a right load of messing about down the end there, cutting round the storm drain and the air source heat pump slab. So really now we're sort of just coming down this straight run. We finally got it back square uh, and then we've just got to come back down here. Probably need about another another ton of stone, maybe a little bit more in there, I reckon. Uh, but fairly fairly happy, fairly happy with the patio height. Um, and just trying to save a few a few pennies uh, because costs are mounting up and I need to exit this deal rather soon, which the moving in date is the 1st of August, basically. I've set a deadline for basically the end of July. So water goes on Tuesday. The following Monday, the drop curb goes in. A few bits and pieces to do. Then the decoration starts. Um, and then I've started packing up my house back where I currently am. So um, a lot of turf to lay, uh, which I'm going to try and get on with the externals. Uh, but other than that, um, pretty much good to go really but it's these last bits that kill you and these last bits when the interest is racking up on the money you borrowed these are these are the bits that start eating into you know profit or mean you've got to borrow more money when you refinance so this is the time to push now so i'm doing what i can when i can and getting other people to do what they can when they can so thanks for watching please don't follow me for patio advice i'll see you next time out